Hey everyone, it's Icelip and welcome to Icelip's Arcade. Check it out. Here we go, new game. Yes, we'll start a new game because, you know. Now, I'm going to be playing something a little bit weird today. Mother Fletcher, crap. Mm. Press the damn button! Ah. No! Fudge, I did it again. No, rotate that way. No, rotate back. Rotate back. Rotate. No, no, stop dancing the wrong way. Come on. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> No, it should just. Boop, there we go. Hope you enjoy. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to Islip's Arcade. I am your host, Islip, and today I'm going to be... Why is the screen shaking like that? I'm going to be reviewing for you... Um, the Shadow of the Colossus. The game called Shadow of the Colossus. And, um... It's produced by the same team of guys that made uh, Ico or Eco. I've never played that game, by the way. Always wanted to. But um, I thought I'd, you know, bring this game to you. It looks interesting. Basically, the way you see it now is the way it actually is. It's lots of... Um, well, there's a bit of green. A lot of times it's just uh, it's like harsh tones, you know, really bright brights. And, yeah, it's very hard to describe. But it's, uh, it's, um, it's an interesting game. So, for a PS2 game, this game looked really good. It did. Um, if you notice the horse's mane and tail, they move fairly realistically. Basically... I guess something has happened to the princess. You put her down, she's like Sleeping Beauty and something, but you're not Prince Charging. Uh, Prince Charging? Prince Charming. And there's this voice that tells you that you have to kill... You have to kill all these Colossi. I guess Colossi is plural. Now, you don't really get a map here. Well, you do get a map if you press the Start button. You get this map, but it's kind of useless unless you've already been to wherever you're going. It's also the option screen. But it's already set to the way I need it to be set. Oops, press the wrong button. Now, when you have your sword out, in order to locate your objectives, you hold it up while you're standing in sunlight, and a beam comes out. And it scatters if you are not looking where you need to go. So, I need to go that way. Past the princess. So, I'm going to call my horse. If it's close, you'll call his name. If it's far away, you'll whistle. Let's see if I can uh, get it to stay far away. Okay, you stay far away. Stay over there. Let's see if I can uh, get far enough away to, you know. Let's see if the, hopefully the horse is not following me. Damn it, the horse is following me. Anyway, it goes, <laughs> or something like that. And you can ride the horse, which is how you get around here. Um... You can ride it slowly. You can uh, ride it fast. You have to press the X button to, in order to kick the horse to get it to go faster. If you just hold it down, it'll automatically start picking up pace. If you want to stop, you pull backers on the reins and press the X button, and you'll do that. Your horse will jump off of stuff sometimes, but it won't for other times. Sometimes it'll just uh, balk, like... There's a cliff right next to me. I'm going to go and try to jump off of it. And if it's too high, it won't uh, jump off the cliff. If it's not too high, it won't. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And the horse fell down. Oops, he's limping. But it'll be okay. There we go. 
And to be honest with you, this game, uh, okay, first off, it's very barren. I'll give it that. Um, normally, yeah, you were used to games like this. There's people left and right. There are no people in this game except for you and that princess. Everything else is either birds or an animal so far. So, we go over this way. And it's basically, to be honest with you, this is like a puzzle game, to be honest with you. It's, it's so, uh, you have to, it's less about action and it's more about figuring things out. Now, some people may not like that. I don't care. I'm not one of those people. It's it's a good game. The first the first uh, board is a tutorial board, and why are you blurry? Unblurry. Thank you. So you can do that. You can also hold the jump button down, which is the triangle button for some reason, and it will launch you up. Come on. You can. Uh, if you press the R button button and then the jump button, you do this. You tuck and roll. So, you can adjust the camera with the other stick. Eh, standard fare for the most part. It's just the button placement is a little wonky. But you get used to it, usually. Oops, this is where the rolling comes in. And to be honest with you, I don't think of, of there's any other part of the game so far that I actually had to use that except for there. Oops, wrong button. Jump. Grab. Jump up. And... Now, I don't know if there's any hidden objectives in this game other than just... I, I, there isn't really any, as far as I know. It's just... Go to the Colossus. You don't get power-ups and stuff. Just go to the Colossus. Kill it. Rinse and repeat. However, each Colossus is different. Um, you've got some that are, are humanoid shaped. You've got others that take on animal shapes. Um, I fought two humanoid shaped ones, like this one right here. I have fought a fish one, which looked more like um, it didn't look like so, so much like a fish, but more like maybe an eel or if anybody knows the old Japanese cartoon, oh uh, Japanese cartoons, uh, old Godzilla shows. Anybody remember Manda? It looks kind of like Manda. There was another one that burrowed in the ground, which kind of looked like the Manda one again. And, um, yeah, now each of these has a weak spot, or two weak spots, really. And your sword will point out, point them out. So there's one on the head here for this guy and one on one of his legs. So I'm going to hide because when he sees you, he tends to, he doesn't charge it. Oh, fudge! He doesn't charge you, but he will swing his axe at you. Not his axe, his club at you. And it does hurt. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. I mean to go this way. Do I mean to go this way? I don't know. There we go. I'm just kind of turned around. Okay, I know where I am now. But, um, yeah. And most Colossi, well, no, all of them have two spots that you have to hit. There's one spot that usually, if they're like a, a tall whatever, it will knock them down enough so that you can climb on them and get to the main vulnerable spot, which is the second spot, the main vulnerable spot, which is usually on the head, but some of them have two of them. Like there's the next Colossus after this is sort of like an ox shape. He's got one on his butt, right above his butt, and another one, whoops, where is it? Where'd they go? Oi! If they see you, they're if they see you and they're ready to attack, their eyes change color. It changes from uh, white to a, um, orange. And I have to thank my my uh, five year old nephew, uh, Jonathan, for picking it up. I didn't realize that. You see, the music has changed, and I think the Colossus figures there's something up, but. Um, it's not going to save him because I'm going to go kill him. Now, this guy, you run. And see here where there's this black stuff coming out? He's wounded there. And in order to bring him down so that you can get to him, you have to stab him a few times. 
Okay, that brings him down a little bit, but stab him one more time, and this happens. Now, for whatever reason, there are building bits connected to this guy. Don't know why. But it helps out because he's really tall, and you have... You see that little circle that's diminishing? That's your grasp me meter. Um, when that goes, you fall down. So on platforms like this, you can um, rest yourself. And you climb up. And when you get to a certain point, he's going to try to shake you up. When you get to a certain point, you're actually able to run up his back. Uh, let's see. Is this it? Yeah, th that's it. Run up his back. See that glowy part of his head? We're going to... Oop. We're going to try to stab it if he'll stay still. Ugh. Let's get out of his eyesight. Maybe that'll help a bit. And I'm going to have to let go for a second. Breathe. Hold on! Stab! Alright, let's go back this way. We're going to run down his back a little bit. Just so we can rest a bit. Oops. If you crouch down on these bits when he shakes, they won't knock you off. Stab. And a spurt of black blood comes up, or whatever that is. Oil, maybe motor oil. My nephews think these things are robots. I guess I can kind of understand that. They don't look like they're... They look like hairy statues, to be honest with you. A few more stabs, and he will be dead. And you don't want to just press the button to bring the, the, the knife up and then just stab. You want to wait a second, build up strength, and then stab him again. And there we go. I have killed a Colossus. Now, I kind of feel bad because he really didn't do anything to me and he's not really hurting anybody. He's just walking around in circles wherever he's at. And all these Colossi, well, not all of them. Some of them are aggressive and mean. Some of them are evil. But um, And then these black snake things come out of them. And then they do that to you. And, uh, then you're magically teleported back to the temple. And each time you kill, kill a Colossus, this kind of happens. Now, this is on Xbox, uh, Xbox, this is on PlayStation Network for $9.99. It's a good game, it's worth it, you should get it. And, yeah, there's a shadowy ghost guy standing over me. Every time you kill a Colossus, another shadowy ghost guy stands over you. So, right now, on my current game, I have ten of them. I'm guessing you're killing the Colossuses, Colossi, to wake that chick up. I hope she's worth it. I really hope she's worth it, because, you know... And you're not seeing the detail, but there's a lot of detail uh, on that guy's face. It looks really nice, and I see some banding, which I normally don't see, but... Recording this with my cell phone, what do you expect? So you kill the Colossus, then you go over to the girl. And then this happens. Well, usually the, this doesn't happen, but this part here always happens. One of the Colossus statues will break every time you kill a Colossus. And then the ghosty voice will tell you your next objective, sort of, in a riddle. So come on, let's do this. Yeah, it's this is the ox one. Raise thy courage to defeat it. I don't know what what language that is, but um, 
It's creepy as hell. And, um... Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna mute that. And... To give you my verdict. This game... At first, I was upset that I got it. Uh, I remember playing the demo. I could never defeat the Colossus in the demo. Oh, it's, it's also telling you that if you, you know, get hurt and you find one of these stone things, you can pray and it will heal you. Um, I was upset because I didn't know how to kill the, the Colossus. I actually had to look online the first time to figure out how to kill them. And then the rest of them, they're, some of them are really easy to kill. Some of them are extremely difficult to kill. And if you are having trouble... Um, after a while, that ghosty voice will tell you to shoot it somewhere or, you know, trick it to doing something. Each one is a, it's a puzzle. Some of the puzzles are easy to figure out how to kill the, the monster, but some of them you have to get it to do a specific thing. But, um, yeah, this is the Shadow of the Colossus. It's a very, very, very good game. Very good game. Um, don't let the fact that it's an updated PlayStation game throw you. Just because it's an updated PlayStation game where it's... The graphics are HD, but they actually really didn't do very much different, except they just cleaned up the graphics. It's not like they retooled all the graphics and all that good stuff. But it didn't need that. It's, it's, uh, it's just an awesome and excellent game. It looks okay. I mean, it's got a nice, unique look to it. I like the look. Um... And just the puzzle elements and what you have to do. I mean, sometimes I'm like, I really don't want to see what the next Colossus is. I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately afraid. It's like, I don't, you know, I don't want to take a chance and have to, you know, restart that board or go back to the checkpoint or whatever. I don't want to have to do that. I want to, but you know what? Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to go back. So I'm Islip, and this is Islip's Arcade. I hope I said Islip's Arcade and not review time. And, um... Uh, this this game is definitely boner worthy. You should get it. I mean, it may not be the prettiest girl on the block, but she knows how to please you. Trust me, she knows how to please you.